Hello, my name is Brian and I'm with Well Prepared and today I'll be teaching how to program the Baofeng BFF8HPM radio. You can get that on our website at wellprepared.com. We'll get started by using the program Chirp to program a radio. You want to download that? I'll have the link down in the description. You want to install it and have that ready to go and open. You'll also want to have the programming cable already plugged into your computer. This will start the process of downloading the drivers. It took a couple minutes for my computer to have those ready to go. I did not need the disk, but it's there for you if you need it. The next you want to have the radio in your hand with the battery plugged in. You do not need the antenna at this point. You can then plug the other side of the programming cable into your radio. You'll want to make sure that it is firmly seated inside there where it's supposed to go. If it's not firmly pushed in all the way, it will not program, it will fail. So you want to have the radio ready pr and plugged into the cable and the cable plugged into the computer and you want to have the software installed and ready to go. So we are ready to go and so we're going to get started by downloading the stock configuration from the radio to the Chirp software so that way it knows how to program and all the file stuff that it needs. So we're get, going to get started with that and you're going to be going up to the top. Go to radio, download from radio. And this is the scary part. You have people asking about the port. But to be honest, look at my drop down menu here. I only have one COM port available. Makes life easy. So then you choose your vendor. There's a lot of different vendor, vendors available. Mine is Baofeng. Easy to do. You have all the other radios. BFF8HP. So it's ready to go. I hit OK. And it's saying, oh no, the driver's experimental. I've never had a problem with it so far. Do it. So the next one tells you what you need to do. It's really an easy to walk through one. So you go turn radio on. It says turn it off. But yeah, you want to turn it on. Connect the cable. Make sure the connector is firmly connected. We had one once that it wasn't plugged in all the way and it doesn't program. It throws errors left and right. So once we push the program cable in all the way, it worked without a problem. So then you turn the radio on and make sure that there's no activity. Notice I didn't plug, I didn't put the antenna on. There's no activity. So I go to OK and it starts downloading the current, the stock configuration from Baofeng to the computer. See this cloning thing? You will see it again when I put the new information back onto the radio. So let's wait a couple more seconds for this and we'll be all ready to go. Okay, here are my friends. If you look here, here is the stock configuration programming for the Baofeng BF-F8HP. Um, now in my programming tutorial, <clears throat> I'm not gonna do too much about these. I'll actually leave those here. Um, just want you to uh, be aware that those that's what those are. Um, you can program a couple of the different things. You have a whopping 128 memories you can actually fulfill, fill up. Mine's got about 125 on my own specific radio. Um, but what you want to do is you want to go, if you want to personalize a little bit more, go to settings down here. You can actually go ahead and change right here in other settings, the power on message. I changed mine to say like, good morning or hello, Brian, or something like that. You can do that there. Also under basic settings, you can also change the colors um, that things blinking, the standby colors, the LED colors, stuff like that. You can change that there. I don't play too much with these. I'm actually going to go to memories because this is what you guys really care about. Um, our store, Well Prepared, is located in Cedar City, Utah. So I'm going to use our county for this programming. It's Iron County. So I'll go to radio and I'm going to import from data source. This makes life easy because everything's done for you. I go to repeater book and I go to repeater book political query. Why? You'll see right here. It's asking for, it has the state, county, and which band we're looking at. So since I already did this once, you can see Utah, Iron County, Utah, and two meter band. This specific Baofeng works on the two meters as well as the 70 centimeters. So let's start with the 70 centimeters first. Click on that, hit OK, and it's going to bring up a list of 70, center, 70 centimeter 
repeaters in this area. Um, some of these do not um, allow people onto their specific repeaters. So you want to check with your local ham radio club and check what the repeater plan is and see if they're ones that are privately owned that the person doesn't want you to use. But that will be some research that you'll have to do on your own. In the meantime, we're going to program this one, throw these on here so that we get an idea of how to do so. So we have all these frequencies ready for me to program on. But you see these on the left-hand side? I actually have some stuff already programmed there. Yes, it's a stock configuration, but this is just pretending just in case you need to, um, you want to add more to your radio and not remove the others. So you see this little button down here, the add, adjust new location. I'm going to actually plus 10 and all of these will now program on the 11 through 17. So let's hit OK. And you now see those repeaters right here. We're going to continue on, go to radio. Again, we're going to bring on the two meters. So import from data source, repeater book, repeater political query again. We're going to do this one, select the same thing, two meters, hit OK. And it's going to do the research and bring it up here. There we go. We now have the two meter frequencies listed in front of me. We're going to go up and put these just after here. So we're going to hit plus 10, then plus 1 a few times till I get it to load in on the 18. Um, I like to leave a space in between I do things, so that way it programs. It's a little bit easier for me to be able to uh, know where I'm programming at, where I'm, I'm transmitting, receiving, so I can just know where the brakes are. So let's hit OK here. And there they are, 19 through 23. But you know what? The ham radio here has a little bit more functions than just transmitting on 70 and receiving on 70 centimeter, 70 centimeters and transmitting on the and receiving on the two meters you see on the duplex mode here that is set up for the offset on both of those so let's go try doing something else under radio we have import from stock configuration there's some more stuff it can do so let's go on and add the us MERS channels those are the ones you can can transmit on we're going to add those down. We're going to put them down here about 25. So we go program. Doo -doo. Oh, wait, I went a little bit fast. We got the negative 10 here. Makes life a little bit easier. Then we go plus one. And now it's going to program that at 25. We do that. And look, there it is. Well, you know what? I'm going to use this as an emergency radio. Let's go back up to radio here. And we're going to import from stock config. We want to add the NOAA weather alert stations. Let's do that. There you are, the radio station is right there for the NOAA weather. And let's choose down here about 31. And do, do, do. There we go, ready to go, plug those in. And now we have our programming set up for what we want to do here. You know, for your own, you may want to add other counties or um, more customization. You have the ability to do that, so right here. So let's, what we want to do first is we want to save this as a radio frequency. I have this going to my other ones. We're going to call this one with today's date right here. Ready to go. Save. I would like to save what I have done. I also have previously saved the stock configuration in case I need to set something back to factory. So that is all ready to go. But you know what? Those are not on the radio now. So let's go and put these back onto the radio. We go to radio, upload to radio. And that little box, the scary box with the COM port on there is there. Ready to go. I hit OK. And it says the same thing again. Turn the radio off, plug in the cable, and yada, yada, yada. So let's hit OK. And it's saying, yes, it's a driver. But you know what? It read just fine. Bring it in. So let's program it now. Proceed. We now have it cloning and program itself back. So as the pause for station notification, I would like to thank the developer of Chirp for making such an easy software to use. So in the meantime, be sure to buy your program cables as well as your radios with us and our other accessories that we'll be having on our website, wellprepared.com. Looks like it's all done. The radio restarts and is ready for you to use. You can hit the VFO MR button to switch between frequency and channel mode, and you are all ready to go.